Okay, in this tutorial, we're gonna we're gonna see how to create this beautiful decollage, decollage, sorry, in Adobe Illustrator. I'm using Adobe Illustrator 2030. You can use older versions also. It's gonna be fine. So I'll start by creating a new document. And I'm gonna call this photo collage. We're gonna dial in uh, the dimensions I want to width. I want it to be uh, to basically be a square. Uh, it's gonna be 16 by 16. Okay, you can use inches, you can use millimeters if you want here. Uh, okay, and create. First of all, uh, what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna place some guides in the center so that I can align things properly. To do that, I'm gonna use the transform the, this transform panel here. If you don't see it here, you can come and you will find it right here. Okay, I will first of all activate my ruler, pressing Command or Control R. Uh, I'm gonna drag a guide here. I'm holding I'm holding a space bar and click and drag to move things here. Uh, I'm gonna come here and uh, I will make sure that I align this data center. To do that, I will use uh, those those uh, coordinates, those figures here. Uh, right now, it's on zero. This is the x-axis. This is the y-axis. So I'm going to. I know that my document size is 16 by 16, and you can see that right right there at the top. And I'm gonna dial in. Eight here, you will see that it aligns it perfectly. Here also, I will drag another one. I will go back to my transform, my transform panel. Okay, what I want to do is to take this from here to the center. To do that, I will simply come here to my Y axis, which is this, and I will dial in eight. And now we can see how perfectly. Uh, perfectly place this at the center of my document and you know Adobe Illustrator is very, very good and very good at placing place, placing uh, elements precisely using elements using uh, using guides and so on and so forth so let's get started I'll go in my latest panel and uh, what I will do is that I will group those select them Hold shift and go on G. I will just create guides. Okay, and I will lock those things so that I don't I don't touch them accidentally. So we will first create the structure for this photo collage. To begin with, I will I will use this tool. Okay, the polygon tool. Hold shift so that I can yeah, I can constrain it so that it's, it's it's kind of straight. I will release, and then what I'm gonna do, I will go back to my move tool, and I will rotate it here, holding shift. I will rotate it this way, and now to align it, you will see that the guides. I'm pressing my uh, I will keys on my keyboard. You can see now that to align things uh, using using the guides uh, i'm pressing command uh, plus or control plus to to zoom in and to zoom out to zoom in to zoom in i have control plus to zoom out then control command minus okay uh, this is the first part of it you will see that when i when i click my mouth upside this i don't see anything simply because on this on this uh on this polygon, there is no fill, there is no stroke. I will add uh, one, one point stroke to it so that you can see what's going on. So the next thing, remember, uh, we will create a structure like this. So what we will have to do, first of all, I will create a series of rectangles. Go to the uh, shape tool from here, and then I will do this, okay? The guides are very helpful in that situation so that I can align this perfectly. Okay, next, what I'm gonna do, I will not uh, create a new one just like this. What I'm gonna do, I'm going to uh, 
copy this. I'm going to make a copy of this. Uh, I'm going to make a copy of this and just so that we can uh, at the same time. I'm holding Alt and Shift, then I'm dragging. As you see, I created this uh, the, the the other copy. Now to to uh, create another copies for those things, I will just click and drag on those two two uh, rectangles. Hold Alt Shift and I drag it down, and I simply have my copies. Okay, what we're gonna do? We we we're preparing the structure to place the images the images inside of those of those rectangles so i'll go in my layers panel here and i will make sure that i bring those four rectangles underneath below this you will not see this right now let, 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 let me show you uh, i will change the color of this okay then uh, we can change the color of this uh, so anything. Let's change the color of this. Hey, okay. As you can see, it's underneath. It's below. It's below it. Okay. Let's do it for all of them. No problem. Okay. Uh, let's come here. Come here and uh, range and uh, let's zoom out a little bit. Let's come here and uh, let's come here and give this another color. Okay. Okay, here we are. This is the structure. We can also enlarge this a little bit, holding Shift and Alt. I can enlarge it just slightly like this. Isn't that beautiful? And uh, I will also, I will create another copy for this. Uh, command or Control uh, C. Okay, and Command or Control B to paste it in the back. Let's check that in here. This is the, uh, the the original one. This is the copy. Okay, I'm gonna enlarge it a little bit, just like this. Down here. Okay, and I'm gonna change its color to white. Now we have the structure for uh, for this. Uh, okay, and uh, I kind of forgot this. This. I will now, let's now add the white bars to this thing here, okay? Let's go back to the shape tool, okay? The rectangle tool. Go to the properties and make sure that this is white, okay? And then we will just, uh, we will just draw something like this. Okay, fine. Then what I'm gonna do, Alt, Shift, I'll push it down here, uh, then Alt, don't press the Shift right now, I will rotate it first, then I will click and drag to move it about, let's see here, and then, and then I will uh, just, let's zoom in a little bit, so that I can do this. And now I can take this Alt Shift to copy it like this. Now I will select this one, this one, this one, and remember it's above everything right now. Underneath this guy, okay? Let's make sure that that is below our polygons. Okay, here we go. Okay, now it's good. Very good, very good. Here and here. Okay, now let's get to work with it. Let's, let's just place our things inside and uh, you know that we've got those things and we want to just have them and we will use to do that. We will use clipping mouse to do that. Let's get started. So, well, this one. File, place, choose my image. Okay, it's place. I will then click and drag. Okay, 
I will come here, look for the first one. This, this one is blue, the first one is blue. I will drag the image below it like this. Hold shift and select both of them. Right click, lay clicking mask. Okay, and uh, let's do that for this one. Let's its image, file, files. Uh, we will be adding this one here. Come here, just uh, okay. Click, hold, and drag. Find, find the one. And make click the mouse, and we're done. We will rearrange them in a little bit. The green one now. File, place, and uh, let's go for this one. And this. Okay, that was the green one, right? Okay. Now here, right click, make click and mask, and the last one, the orange one. File, place. Uh, wait on for this one. Place. Start from here, about here. Or about that. Okay. Place it, go to the latest one again, and come here, and come here, right click, and make with your mask. Okay, we'll arrange them properly in the same thing. Let's add the fifth image. Place, I will go here and locate this image. Place it here to this. Go here. Find out the range by putting the colors that facilitate placing the image and not being lost. You could also number uh, number your images so that you you know which one comes first. Now to modify the content of those things, just before we finish this work, I will come here. Let's take this one by clicking on them. You know you will know which one we're talking about. You could also rename the clipping mask if you want. For example. This first one, I could name it, uh, I don't know, uh, square one. Okay, square, square one. And so on and so forth. We're not going to go into much detail on that. Okay, let's just realign those images. To realign them, you come here in the layers panel and you select, don't select this because this will move the square. Okay, select the image. And then just just move the image to a place where you like it. So now here, it's okay. This one, we do the same thing. Let's go with this. Open. Come here and just move the image and possible the size of it so that we okay okay cancel this. Sorry, you get the idea. Come here, come here, and uh, just move that a little bit slightly so that we can see. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm pressing enter all the time. Don't do that. Okay, uh, come here, uh, come here, let's go this here, click on this, and just move the image so that we can see. Uh, image better and uh, so that he has better framing and for this also it's not that properly online and I can just move this down a little bit I'm holding shift to do that remember to hold shift when you resize otherwise it will distort the image look at that see I, I do not hold shift by holding shift you make sure that we keep the, the the image constrained and in the way it should be. Okay, here we go. We have this image, and now let me just put this off. And here we are. We have a beautiful photo collage in just a few minutes in Adobe Illustrator. See you in the next video.